What's going on, everyone? Check it out. Look where we're at. West Marina. West Marina. Look at this. This is the dinghy we found. Thank you, Fishing and Gold, for helping me pull that out out of the river. And uh, I'm gonna. Um, I asked for permission to go inside the store. I saw. I saw what's an almost an identical dinghy to this one that we just found in the river. We're gonna walk in the store just for a few minutes, so you can see it in the store. Let a few people come in, and uh, it's awesome. Right here, West Marina. Lost and found boat. We found it. We found the boat. Let's go, guys. Let's go inside real quick. A few people come in. It's facing this way. It's not facing you. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh, it's actually live. Yeah, we're live. <laughs> let's let's go. Let's go see the dinghy. The dinghy that we just found. It's it's here. It's in the store. Elfish, what's going on, buddy? Woo, West Marina. Check it out. Check it out. Here we go. Brian B. I stopped. This is it. They have three. They have three, but this is the one that's closest to, to the one we just pulled out of, um, out of the river. Out of the river. And uh, the price point is here. Bam. I'm going to turn the camera on so you will get a better picture quality. Here we go. That's the dinghy that's in the back of the boat. We're in West Marina, which is only literally a few... Uh, just a few, like one mile away from where we're at. Y'all wanna hear, like, what's the price point? Stop talking. Here it is. The same weight limit, pretty close. I don't remember what the other one said. Weight limit, um, the other boat, the one that's outside says four people, but it's like I'd never be more than one person on the boat, but here's the price point. $1,000, I asked the gentleman, what's up? Oh, it's, it's rated for six horsepower max on the boat that we just pulled out of the Potomac River. Pretty close to this one. It has one board. They have others. I, I was like, no, it's not that one back there. That one's way, way too big. That would have been sweet. But nope, that's not the one we got. And this one's smaller. It's not this one. It's not this one because the weight limit doesn't match. And this was a lot smaller. Here we go. 1K, $1,000. $1,000. And I, 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 we, I was asking the gentleman, what's the process on a, on a lost and found boat? He's like, well, just reported as... I have to remember what he said, but he, he kind of gave me um, some, some hints. Bam. It's right here in the store. Identical to what we just found. Let's see the backside, what it kind of looks like. New fishing boat. Bam. And here's the thing on this one. Check this one out. This one's, this one's soft bottom. The one we have is hard bottom. No, this will rip quick. I'm glad that the one we got, it's hard bottom. It's more identical to this big one over here. Check this out. Look at this bad boy. I got lucky the dinghy we, we pulled out of the river is hard bottom like this one, but it's not this big. I'll show you the price point on this one. Show you the price point. Oh, he said as, as, as registered from, from, at the DMV as at banded boat. Um, look at this, this one right here. But it's not this boat, but it's got the same hard bottom like this, like this. Um, these other ones that are less expensive. So I'm sure that the one that I have in the truck is probably even more than this one because this, this will rip really, really easy. If you drag it on, on the floor, soft bottom, no bueno. We got lucky, guys. We got lucky. What a, what a lucky find from the Potomac River. If you missed it, go back. We pulled it out. We were live. We were going around. And here you go, $1,000 boat. And I'm sure this is the newer edition, but you need to be more careful moving it around the one that that when i and we pulled out it's a hard bottom man it's a beautiful store here guys they if you ever need something west marina i'm not sure if it's nationwide or where it's at but uh i don't know what do you think a little 5.5 on it well we'll start off with my electric engine i mean it, it is a pretty heavy boat all right they let me be in here in the store for a few minutes uh we can check out some rods you got 76 amazing people in here appreciate every single one of y'all Dogs in the house want to be. Look at those awesome rods. Super, super cool stuff in here. Uh, you luck. Yeah, I got lucky. Got lucky. He said uh, registered as, as an abandoned boat. That's what the man said. And that's what, what I'm planning to do is, uh, you know, I'll go through the process and, you know, go to the police and make sure that we did it the right way. There's another boat over here. Look at this. Look at this one. This is, this is complete hardness here. This one's hard all the way around, doesn't have the air tubes. This one is uh, $700. 
But if you want to go back, go back and see the one that we just, uh, we pulled. I don't think they want to be on camera, but we heading out. There it is, guys. We found the, what's almost identical to the boat that we just pulled out of the river is that one right there, $1,000, but that one has soft bottom. What's going on, Rick and Brittany? Appreciate you coming in. Put your 9.9. .9. The thing with my 9.9, .9, it has a, uh, thank you. Appreciate y'all letting me do that. Thank you very much. Um, the problem with my 9.9, .9, it, it's not a, uh, you can't steer with your, your hand, your arm. It's got the cables. It's got the cables. Here we are, West Marina, the brand on the boat on the side. You can't, oh, there it is. You can see it right there. You can see it right there. We just pulled it out. We let the air out. It wasn't like this. It was all completely full of air. And like I said, we got lucky because the one they're selling now in the store, it's not hard like this. This is, I think this, no, this is aluminum. This is aluminum, guys. We're in good shape. You found, uh, you found a boat for cookie. Bam! Look at that palmetto. Thousand dollars in here, but I was looking to be this exact one on the website, and it's uh, it's a little bit more expensive. But anyways, we found the boat. We found the boat. Maybe we found money to to get the catcon. Listen to the traffic. Woo! All right, guys. See y'all later. See y'all later, guys. What an awesome day. No fish. I don't know. I don't think this counts as being skunked. <laughs> this is a, a 200 pound find right here. Woo, we got lucky. Let me see here. Looked it up on the area. 1400, you're exactly right. Cause it's aluminum bottom, not soft bottom. It's starting to, I see fl uh, snowflakes. <laughs> it's snowing. You found a buffer cookie. Yeah, uh, 14, yeah, exactly. 1400 bucks. Great find. I think it's awesome. I think it's super, super sweet. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. And uh, a, a big thank you and a shout out to Fish and Gold and his wife. They both came out and uh, she she loaned her husband to help me out load the boat up. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't I'll be honest. I don't think I would have been able to do it without him. We out. <laughs> we out. See y'all later, guys. Take care. Catch y'all on the next one. Bye bye.